Hi friends, hi stampers. It's Nicole Steele of The Joyful Stamper. I am the owner and designer and creator behind it, and I'm also an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. You can find me on the internet at thejoyfulstamper.com. And I'm coming to you today to show you how to make this masculine Valentine's Day card. I know the traditional colors for Valentine's Day are red, white, pink, black, but I thought it would be kind of fun to mix it up a little bit and make a Valentine's Day card that is truly masculine, truly for him, whoever the him is in your life. And I'm going to use the heartfelt stamp set that is found in Stampin' Up's uh, 2020 mini catalog. The other thing I'm going to be using is this Country Club Designer Series paper. And you can find that on page 47 of your 2020 mini catalog. I feel like there hasn't been much attention paid to this paper and I got it, they passed it out to us at on stage. And at first I was kind of like, hmm, what am I gonna do with it? I don't have golfers really in my family other than my dad. But then if you notice the flip side has these really neat plaid and argyle patterns in really fun yet still masculine colors. So I took a second look at it and I realized I could make a pretty nice Valentine's Day card with it. So that's what we're going to do today. Okay, let me set that aside. Now I'm starting with a basic gray card base and I'm going to type all the dimensions up in the description to this video. I'm also going to have this posted on my blog so you can check it out there too. But this is a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of basic gray cardstock and I scored it in half at five and a half inches and I folded it. The next thing I did was take another piece of basic gray cardstock, and this one is cut to um, three and three quarters of an inch by five and a quarter inch. And what I did is I took the stitch nested labels dies, and I took the largest one in the set. Now these dies you will find on page 196 of Stampin' Up's annual catalog. This is the big thick one. And these are the this is the dies I'm using. They're bundled with the free as a bird stamp set, but you can use them with anything. I'm using this largest one here. And when you die cut this out, you will notice that it leaves stitching around the border of the negative space of your piece. This is the piece that I cut out. And you can see it leaves stitching on that label piece too, or the positive piece. So when I use this die, I cut it out. This is the piece that was left. You can save this for another project. I chose to use the negative space for my project. So let me put that, and that's the stitched nested labels dies. Set that aside. And this is gonna go onto our basic gray cardstock, and I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere that. So I'm gonna put one in each corner. And I'm also going to put one in the middle of the left and right sides of this piece to give it more support because I was concerned it might start sagging if I didn't put any dimensionals there. Oh, I cut my nails too short and now I can't grip the liner paper of these Stampin' Dimensionals. Okay. And I'll center that on my card base and I'm gonna put that down just, just like that. Okay, now I used the exact same die that I used, the Stitch Nested Label die in the largest size. The one that I used to cut this out is the same one that I used to cut out this piece of Country Club Designer Series paper. This is the pattern on the back side of that piece. I'm gonna use this fun Argyle pattern. And I'm also going to put this on with Stampin' Dimensionals. But before I do that, I'm gonna take a bone folder and I wanna curl these edges right here just because I want it to stand out a little bit more from my card base. So you just hold your paper, take your bone folder, and just curl it, just like you would curl ribbon that you're using on a gift. And I'm gonna put a few dimensionals on the back. And the easiest way to do is probably just to stick them on here Okay, oh, now I feel like making a smiley face with these, right? Okay, peel these off. 
I hear from a lot of people that um, masculine cards are the hardest for them to make. I actually find that to be true myself. I don't know why. I think it's because I want to use ribbon and all the other pretty stuff on there. And men don't typically go for bows and frilly things like that. So I feel like the car looks a little naked without it. But it's not. Next, I'm going to take some Whisper White Baker's Twine. And I'm actually going to double it up. So instead of just tying it this way, I'm going to double up a nice long piece. And you want to make sure it is really long so that you have plenty of material to work with and cut it. So now I've doubled it in half and I'm actually going to slide it under this piece portion right here, the frame of my card base. And that's why I adhered the frame down first because it keeps the frame from shifting as I'm tying this and that makes it so much easier. So I'm going to give it a tie. I find this with this Whisper White Baker's twine, if I double it up, it makes it easier to tie and it gives it a lot fuller look. So yeah, I know it's a bow on a man card, but it's white and it's twine. So I think it'll be okay. All right. And you can always shorten the tails if you want to, which I think I actually do want to. Okay, there we go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this Happy Valentine's Day. Well, you could probably see it better if I show you the set. I'm going to take this stamp image right here, Happy Valentine's Day from the Heartfelt set, and I'm going to ink it up in Night of Navy. I'm going to make sure that I get it nice and covered. There we go. Good ink coverage, and I'm going to stamp it and press. There we go. That looks gorgeous. Then I'm going to use this Heart Punch from the Heart Punch pack that coordinates with the Heartfelt stamp set. Now, you can buy the stamp set. Oh, my phone. You can buy the stamp set, or you can buy the punches separately. But if you buy them together, you get a 10% discount. So, and the thing is you don't get just one heart punch. You actually get two. So you get the scalloped one too, and it punches out another heart in the heartfelt stamp set. So it makes sense if you want both of them to go ahead and type the one, the bundle item number in so that you can be sure to save yourself 10% because you know, we all like to save money, right? And this, I'm actually going to use just liquid glue to adhere that down right into the middle of my card. And that's it. Now, to be able to write on the inside, you'll probably want to put um, a piece of white cardstock, whisper white cardstock in there. Five inches or five and a quarter inches by four inches would be a nice liner for that. I, did I do that on that one? No, I didn't do it on that one. But that is a nice, simple, easy, masculine Valentine's Day card in non-traditional colors, but totally perfect for the guy in your life. So if you need any of the supplies to make the project I've showed you today, be sure to go to my uh, online store, shopwithnicole.stampinup.net, or you can head to my blog at thejoyfulstamper.com, and that will take you anywhere you need to go. So thank you for joining me today, friends. I so appreciate it, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.